So he says at the end of all of that, what? He says, اعلموا أن الله يحيي الأرض بعد موتها He said, you had better know Allah gives life to the hearts after they had died. Profound words. He's saying, maybe as you hear this, you feel like your heart is dead. You're right, I haven't felt anything. You're right, I do feel disconnected. I do feel like my heart is dead. And Allah says, that's okay. If you feel like your heart is dead, then know one more sunnah of Allah. Allah takes the earth that's dead and brings it back to life. So your heart that is dead, it's okay. Allah can bring it back to life. It's not a hopeless case because Allah gives life to the dead. اعلموا أن الله يحيي الأرض بعد موتها قد بيّن الآيات لقوم لعلكم تعلمون. We were clarifying these ayat to you. We're making things clear to you so you can think. So he says قد بيّن لكم الآيات لعلكم تعقلون. We're clarifying this for you. I'm not telling you. Oh, by the way, the earth gets greenery. No, I'm I'm saying that for you, so you understand that I'm talking about you and your heart that's become dry and 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 you know lifeless like the soil. But it's okay, it can be brought back to life. But you know, how does Allah bring the earth back to life? That's the, that's the question, isn't it? How does Allah bring the earth back to life? When it stops raining, when there's no water, the earth dies. When it rains, then life comes back. And rain comes from the sky. The pure water comes from the sky. Just like Allah's pure words come from the sky. This is why Allah compares often in the Qur'an, He compares Qur'an to rain also. Allah compares Qur'an coming from the sky and water coming from the sky. So what is Allah telling us in between the lines? He's telling us that you should really think about connecting and responding to Allah when Allah speaks to you in the Qur'an. Some of you know nothing about the Qur'an. Some of you know a lot about the Qur'an. That doesn't matter. Because the heart that knows a lot, or the, the mind that knows a lot, and the mind that knows nothing are equal when it comes to the remembrance of Allah. Because this is not what's being filled. This is what's being filled. And this one needs refueling all the time. Think about water for a moment. You don't say, well, I already had water yesterday, so I'm okay now. Water is a need that you need to restore in yourself over and over again. You need to drink it again, and drink it again, and drink it again. Because without it, your body starts dying. The same way, the word of Allah is something you have to take in again, then again. Now, even if you know it, you take it again, then you take it again, then you take it again. And every time it restores something in you, it fixes something in you, it cleans something in you. It's a detox for you, it's a spiritual detox for you. For your mind, for your heart, for, for what you're thinking, for what you're feeling. Maybe there's something wrong that you're doing. And you don't have the strength to get out of it. The word of Allah will give you that strength. It'll, it'll empower you to take the step that you've been, you know, not been able to take. Maybe you don't have that strength yourself. That strength can only come from Allah when you're nourished. And you haven't given Allah's words that chance. These are the couple of weeks that are left. These are the these are the days of Quran. These are the days of Quran. Spend your free time just asking Allah to guide you. Just asking Allah, Ya Allah, I'm gonna come to your ayat. I ask you all the time. Now I'm ready to find out what are you asking me? <laughs> what are you asking me? Open up Quran and open up whatever surah of the Qur'an, start reading. If you don't understand, read some more, ask someone. I, if you want to ask questions about Qur'an, I'm an op, I'm, I have open access to, you know, I'm a student of the Qur'an, I'm not saying I have all the answers, but if you ever have any questions, until the end of Ramadan, I'm here every single afternoon. I'm here, you know, one o'clock every day. So you can come and ask whatever questions you have. You, you have direct access. Those of you that are going to watch this on social media, just start posting your questions about Qur'an. I was reading this, what is Allah asking of me? What does Allah want from me when I read this ayah? Allah is talking to you in the Qur'an. Allow that conversation to become like it's never been before in your life in these days. This is what you and I should be doing. And why should we be doing it? I go back so we can be grateful. So we can be grateful. Maybe we have never been... Have you truly, truly asked yourself this? It's a hard question. I can't answer it for you. Have you truly, truly felt grateful for the Qur'an in your personal life? Have you read Allah's book and felt like this is something I should be grateful for? Like this is something that's actually helping me? This is something that makes my life better? This is something that I need just like I need water, just like I'm grateful to be able to drink a cup of water at iftar, just like that I'm grateful for Allah's words. If you haven't felt that gratitude, then you and I have missed the point of Ramadan. We missed the point altogether. The ayah that began, Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an ended with la'allakum tashkurun. So you could be grateful. So you could appreciate. How are you going to appreciate something you don't even know? 
people tell you about something, this car is amazing. I don't know, I don't know. When you test drive it, you're like, yeah, it's amazing. Now I appreciate. Well, take the Quran for a test drive. Give Allah's book a chance. Just, you know, whatever transition you have, whatever access you have, ask questions. Don't say, well, how, what if I'm reading the wrong translation? Don't worry about that right now. Allah will guide. If you sincerely ask Allah for guidance, and you open up Allah's book, seeking answers from Allah, then if you get questions, then you have people that can help. Then you can ask. But this journey won't start until you start seeking. You start asking Allah, what is it that you want from me? What is it that you're giving me in these words? And that journey, Wallahi Al-Azim, is the sweetest journey you'll ever have. Ever, ever have. This was, you know what Allah described this as? This is what I'll leave you with. I know there's a lot that can be said about this, but when, you know, for, when Isa alayhi salam was given Injil, Jesus was given, you know, the, the gospel, when he was given that, then after Isa alayhi salam left, for six centuries there was no revelation. Okay? And there was, there was no revelation on, on earth. And the world was in darkness. And Allah described this as وَاللَّيْلِ إِذْ adbar, The night that kept, kept turning its back on the light. And the night that just kept getting darker and darker. The world was in darkness, so people in it were in darkness. And then He describes the coming of the Qur'an وَالصُّبْحِ إِذَا أَصْفَرْ إِنَّهَا لَإِحْدَ الْكُمَرْ the morning that has now come, the light that has now come. This is one of the biggest events that has ever happened. The Qur'an, Allah says, is the greatest event that has ever happened. The Ihda al-Kubar. The greatest event is sitting in my home, I don't even know. The greatest event I have access to on my phone, I don't even know. This is the greatest news, the greatest event, the greatest thing that humanity has ever experienced. May Allah Azza wa Jal allow each of us in this month, in what is left of this incredible month, to really become connected to Allah's words. To recite it the way it deserves to be recited, to ponder it, to think about it, to ask questions of it the way it deserves to be engaged in. May Allah Azza wa Jal keep our hearts soft as we engage in this book and really beg Allah for guidance when we recite His words. May Allah bless us with te genuine tears seeking for forgiveness, tears of gratitude, tears of, tears of humility, tears of admission to Allah. May Allah give us those tears in the moments of our solitude when nobody else can see. It's only us and Allah that can see. May Allah give, grant us those moments in this month and may Allah Azza wa Jal make those moments a means of our forgiveness and a better life in our future. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikri al-Hakim.